Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do the gingerbread man on this nice big chunk of free wood that somebody had given me. It's going to be 11 inches by 7 inches, and the idea is we're going to cut all the way around it first, but leave it in its surround. That will just make it easier when we come to the routing side of things. For cutting out, I'm going to use these Pegas 5 spiral blades. They're ideal, they'll cut in any direction, so there's no, not too much messing about with the wood and stuff. And then once it's cut all the way around, like I say, we'll leave it inside the wood. And then we'll use these CNC bits, they do come with a small shaft, same size as a Dremel. So you will need a collet, that's a 65mm collet, and a 3.175 shaft will fit into that like so. And now you can pop that in your router. And we'll set it to a depth, 2 or 3 mil, and literally go around all this, all these. Once we go around the CNC bit, we'll then put on a mil end bit. Or end milling bits, whichever you want to call them. These come in various sizes. All these are all available on eBay or Amazon. We'll pop one of them into the same collet. So remove that one. Place that one in like so. And then we'll use that to remove all the surrounding areas. Just so those buttons and the belt and his little socks, I don't know what they are to be honest. And the repair to his legs, they all stand up, same as the face. And then we'll do a general sanding down, round it off a little bit at the edges. And then we'll pot on some, pot on some nice paint just to make it stand out a bit. Okay, we'll get our spiral blade into the scroll saw. And we'll start cutting this one out. I will drill a pilot hole in first. Normally I will just come in from the side and start cutting. But I just want to keep this in one piece. So I'll drill a little hole in. Just to feed the blade through. And then we'll go around this one. And then that's a, that's it for the scroll saw. And it's all router work after that. Let's cut it out now. Before we've done any of those. We obviously have to transfer this onto the wood. I always use carbon paper. Something simple like this takes two minutes to draw around. That way you can use that template over and over again. No problem. So we've drawn around it. We've got our image on there. There he is. Good to go. Right then, let's start cutting it out. Right, we've gone all the way around that with our Pegasus number no. 5 spiral blade. It's over an inch and a quarter thick as this wood, so it's a nice thickness to play with. And that will just allow us to make deeper cuts when we go around the buttons, the nose and the mouth. So this is only with scrap wood on the side, so do a couple of samples to a nice, nice depth that we're happy with. Still quite deep is that one. And all we have to do now is put our CNC bit into the collet remember and we'll pop that in the router and we're literally just going to go all around this penciled area just to separate the big chunks from the smaller bits and then we'll put on those mill end bits we were talking about and we'll come in and clear all this out and hopefully that'll all stand up nicely and all these bits and then we'll round them off slightly before we get on to the paint side of things now ideally just leave the image inside your wood for now that will just give you a nice area to run your router on i have quite a small base on mine so as we're going around that you imagine that backward not being there would only have the thickness of his arm 
to rest on and it's just going to go all over the place so we'll leave that in give us plenty of service to run our router on and then when it's all done and we've took out this section here we can just go straight up to the edges doesn't matter if we run off the edge it's only going into the scrap waste bit that surrounds it then once it's all done we'll literally just pop it out like so you'll see that there and hopefully we'll have some kind of shape to him right let's pop this cnc bit into the router and we'll start going around all these bits here Right, you can see from that, we've gone all the way around with our CNC bit. That cut round no problem whatsoever. In these smaller areas, you could use a CNC bit, like I did, and just go around these tighter areas. It's cut really nice, no problem whatsoever there. Now, I like to use these mill-end bits, end milling bits. Just put in end milling bits on eBay, and this is what they'll come up with now these are fantastic for clearing out they have the same size shaft as the dremel bit a 3.175 so it's just a simple case of removing the cnc bit and then we'll pop our mill end bit inside put it into the router and we'll set it to the same depth we know that these are right or the one that we used over here and we're simply going to go around now and clear all this out now there is bigger pieces that will take it out quicker. But I do like these because they clear out the side walls as well as smoothing out the bottom bit as well. So they're ideal little things. It might take you slightly longer, but it works for me. So find out what you like best and just stick with it. So we'll pop that in now and start removing the rest of the body. Right, that's it. We've gone all the way around with the mill end bits. I put a little CNC bit on and literally just routed out the little groove in there on both sides, just so we get the effect of the legs have been joined together by these bits here. So all it's down now is we'll get him out of his little hole. We'll tidy it up 
and then we'll get onto the painting side of things. So it's just a case of just sliding him out. I've already took it out once before, so I know he comes out nice and easy. There's a good thickness to him, a good size. <laughs> okay, uh, general tidy up now. We don't want it smooth, smooth. Remember, this is meant to be pastry. Is it pastry? Biscuit. So we don't want it fantastically smooth, not so much like the back. So we'll round it off slightly on the edges and then we'll uh, we'll throw some paint on him. Spray on our little bit of our varnish that we always use and we'll see what he's like at the end. Let's just tidy up now. Right, that's enough sanding down for me. I went over with any old bits of paper that we can find. Just give it a tidy down. Like I said previously, I don't want it smooth, smooth, because it's going to have to be a biscuit base. So we want some kind of little rough and tumbles in it, no problem whatsoever. Now, obviously, we need to darken this down a little bit so it looks like it's been baked. So I'm just going to put linseed oil on for now, boiled linseed oil. Just to see if it will darken it down a little bit. And once it's dry, if it's not up to what we need, we'll mix some kind of stainer up just to get this background darkened down a bit. So boil linseed for now. I'm just going to throw this on, on it all, all the sides, basically coat the whole lot. And just see if it darkens it down any. It might not be too fantastic. But if it doesn't work, then we'll try something else. Right, you can see from that, that boiled linseed oil darkened it down a little bit. It's not too brilliant, it's actually darker on the back, but that's because we've not uh, touched that. We obviously sanded down the front bit, and we're trying to darken down beer wood. But it uh, looks more like a shortbread biscuit than a gingerbread biscuit, but we'll leave it at that for now. We're going to get some painting done now, just acrylic paints, just for the whites. And his little purple buttons and the nose and uh, the mouth and stuff. So we'll paint this now and then we'll come back when we're ready to spray on our bit of varnish. Once the paint is on, I'll see what that background's like, the body wise. And if it's not dark enough, I'll just some water down acrylic, very light, darky brown colour, and we'll just paint the whole lot. Just so it's a bit more gingerbready and not so much shortbready. Okay, let's throw some paint on now. Right, that's it. This little project is finished. You notice I sprayed on the little protector sealer. That just literally just gives it a nice little bit of a shine. Three or four coats of that. I ended up painting the body in the end. The wood was just too clear, more like a shortbread. I wanted a darker gingerbread kind of look. And that's him finished. I will literally just route out a nice slit in the back. We can afford to do that. It's a hinge and a quarter thick, so plenty of thickness for hanging purposes, or he will stand quite happily by himself, no problem. So there, he's all done now. Just normal acrylic paint, nice spray on, giving us a nice gloss to those buttons, look. So happy days with that one. So 11 inches by eight inches by an inch and a quarter thick. Little gingerbread man, Scrouter project that's scroll saw and router. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>